Good morning or rather good afternoon. Uh, welcome to our virtual open event. Uh, in this session, we'll be talking all about the foundation courses that are available here at Herefordshire and Ludlow College. We've got a short little video just to show you and give you a, an idea behind what each course is involved in. And then the tutors are here uh, ready and raring to give you a good, good few answers to any questions that you may have. So sit back, enjoy the video and enjoy. Hello. My name is John Gill, and I'm here to tell you about the range of courses we offer within the Faculty of Technology Studies, and a little bit about what study as a full-time student at the college looks like. Here in the Faculty of Technology, we offer a wide range of courses at various levels, all designed to give you the knowledge, skills and qualifications that you need to get you to where you want to be, whether that's further study, higher education, or into employment or an apprenticeship. In our construction and building services department, we offer courses in the various construction trades, including electrical installation, plumbing and gas, brickwork, carpentry and joinery, and furniture design and make. The emphasis is on developing practical skills and knowledge and applying those skills in our specialist and dedicated practical workshops. Your teachers are all experienced industry practitioners and our construction students typically move into relevant employment or an apprenticeship once they have successfully completed their time at college. In our engineering department, we offer a wide range of disciplines, including manufacturing and mechanical engineering, motor vehicle maintenance and repair, computing, IT and games development, and music technology and production. Again, all our staff are experienced and qualified industry practitioners, and you will be taught in specialist classrooms, computing labs, workshops and studios to enable you to put what you have learnt into practice. In our Foundation Studies department, we offer a broad range of courses for those students who need to work at a lower level and perhaps need some additional support before they are ready to progress to the next level. These introductory courses cover areas such as catering, construction, IT, childcare and general employability and life skills, with an emphasis on developing your literacy, numeracy and social skills along the way. So whatever your interest, whatever your level of ability, we have the right course to offer you to set you on your way to a successful career in your chosen area. And in the majority of all these areas within the faculty, we can also offer apprenticeships as an alternative route to full-time studies, with a dedicated apprenticeship delivery team and contact with hundreds of employers looking to offer job opportunities with training for young people. As a full-time student, you will typically spend three full days at college each week and your programme of study will be made up of your main qualification in the subject you have chosen, as well as continuing study in maths and English for those students who have not yet achieved at least a grade 4 at GCSE in their subjects. You will be allocated a personal tutor who will provide support, advice and guidance when you need it, and agree and set your targets to enable you to keep on track and fulfil your potential, as well as advise you on the next steps after you have successfully completed your course. As well as attending college, you will have the opportunity to attend various trips and visits relevant to your subject area, meeting with employers and getting a better understanding of working practices and technologies. And of course, college is very different from school, and we encourage you to make best use of the wider college facilities, to make new friends and to have some fun on the way. So we look forward to seeing you, and whether you have already applied for a course or are still thinking about it, please take this opportunity to find out more by checking out our website and our subject and course level podcasts and webinars. Don't delay, sign up today. Hello and welcome to Foundation Studies, which is a department in uh, HLC. It's a department I've been associated with for 20 years and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it this morning. The Foundation Studies team is a small group of tutors who are very experienced and dedicated to welcoming youngsters to this college and helping them enjoy their college and achieve at the end of their stay. We have a good track record of working with young people from all over Herefordshire and it is a, an exciting challenge for us to welcome youngsters from different schools who may not have known each other in the past. We are not really interested in the things that have gone wrong in your school studies. We are very interested in how we can help you to be successful whilst you're with us. As a team we are heavily supported by learner services and very often the group sizes for our learners are between 10 and 14. 
We are very lucky to have good support from senior management and we have particular ways which are tried and tested which bring us very good results. We are pleased to say that our efforts are rewarded by the respect and praise that learners show us in their learner voice surveys. And this is a pleasing point for all of us because our approach to young people is based on respecting and praising their good efforts. Let me tell you about the courses. We have a number of courses which could offer opportunities for almost every youngster. We have specific vocational courses like information technology and construction. We also have an introduction to hospitality and catering and for young people coming to the college for the first time we have generic or general courses which help people to find their feet and find a career path whilst they are deciding amongst a, a very very different culture. We have two courses which are described as um, catering for supported learners and those are basically uh, the introduction to hospitality and catering and the skills for working life. Hospitality and catering is obviously uh, going to steer a youngster toward activities in that career path. The skills for working life will give young people a very active, non-classroom based type of approach to doing things, for example, in catering, woodwork, motor vehicles and craft. The other two courses which are very popular are employability level one and employability level two. These courses do what they say on the tin which is they help young people become employable. They are at two different levels and we can differentiate depending on the background and abilities of learners who want to try those courses. In each course studied in foundation studies it is essential that young people promote and develop their skills in English and mathematics. For some young people that will be done through the route of taking functional skills and for some young people that will be done by trying to improve their GCSE grade. We will support young people in whichever path they are required to do which is based on what they have achieved at school. Okay, so apologies for the uh, video issues there. Um, it's always a bit of a learning experience, all these sort of events. Um, so we'll go to questions now. Uh, if you've got any questions at all, uh, please feel free to type them um, on the screen in front of you and, and then we'll discuss those with the tutors here. Um, Nigel, the star of our video, uh, if I can bring you in just to answer a couple of general questions, if that's okay. Um, if you just remember to un unmute your microphone. Um, so a couple of general questions for you. So um, students that are in these classes, um, what sort of help and support is available for them during their studies? OK, well, I suppose the most important thing <coughs> is that we do take a lot of time before the students come to us to make sure that they're doing the right thing for them. So the interview is very, very important, David. Um, when we get them into class, we really work hard on showing them how to do things. And we are very, very keen to develop their skills in asking questions. So in a typical class, there will be 10 to 14 youngsters and there will be a very helpful teacher and more often than not, um, one or two learning support assistants. Yeah, OK, brilliant. Um, and in terms of their sort of equipment that they use, their PPE, is, is that included? Do they have to fund it themselves? How does all of that work? Um, <clears throat> it works by discussion from the interview, depending on everybody's individual needs and backgrounds. Uh, we would ask people to um, purchase uh, equipment that makes them safe, but we will also assist them to make sure that they are safe when they go into an area that requires PPE. Yeah, OK, brilliant. And um, question on sort of maths and English. So are all students expected to retake it if, if they haven't got sort of past grades? Is that how it works? 
Yes, the cutoff is is uh, grade four in GCSE maths or English. If a student hasn't got that, they're required to more often than not retake if they've got a one in GCSEs. If they've got a grade two, um, sorry, if they get a grade one, they, they're required to do functional skills. If they get a grade two, they would probably resit their GCSE uh, course. OK, thanks, Nigel. That's great. Um, if we just uh, run through some questions on sort of the, the individual courses, uh, Mark, if we jump to you next. Uh, so your sort of speciality is obviously sort of the IT and construction courses. Um, what sort of the, the course involve? What exactly do people study on those courses? OK, in the uh, IT, we uh, we look at uh, two sides to IT, which is the, the computing side and I look at the IT side. So the computing side, we look at um, more about the, the programming of uh, to, to create applications and get a good footing with learning uh, new languages, new programming languages and how they are then developed into uh, applications. And then on the other side, uh, we look at more of the IT side of things, which those applications are already designed and then utilise those applications uh, to uh, solve problems. Um, so it's, it's, it's created over, over 10 units and some of those units are more uh, a look at organisational skills, using IT in organisational skills and being able to progress at your career forward and how you would uh, look at your own skills and, and evaluate and, and then put more skills or uh, learn more skills to be able to progress onto uh, employment and onto other courses. On the construction side of the things, this is, um, is, is quite broad. It looks at um, uh, three or four disciplines. Uh, we look at uh, carpentry. And in the carpentry, we do joinery and um, construction carpentry, normally on building sites. And in and in also in um, brickwork, that is more about uh, building, uh, uh, looking at the building skills, and that includes things like uh, safe way of working, and also maintenance, building buildings, and also. Uh, working safely with lifting heavy objects and that sort of thing and also we have a plumbing course and the plumbing obviously is um, uh, quite a popular area um, and that uh, involves domestic plumbing as well as uh, some commercial and also we do a little bit on electrics as well and uh, electrics obviously looking at domestic electrics and all those are assessed by um, qualified uh, industry standard uh, tutors and also theory is then uh, applied to us all that as well. Okay brilliant and yeah. presumably when someone's completed say the level one in computing or the level one in construction they could then look at progressing on to yeah. Yeah. subsequent levels within the college presumably? Absolutely um, it's a, both courses give a good base knowledge to then progress on to level two uh, or other level one uh, uh, discrete subject areas. So yeah, it's, it's, it's good foundation for that. OK, brilliant. Um, if I can just talk about um, employability skills and working life, is that Joe is best for, for that one, I believe? Yes, David, I can talk about employability for you. Um, so employability skills courses, they're part of the um, general courses that Nigel was talking about in the introduction. Um, they're, they're made really, well their sort of focus is to be able to develop skills of young people to then go on and study further in the future or perhaps to um, try some work experience and then maybe look for work from there. A lot of our main units on the employability skills uh, focus on sort of communication at work, um, researching different career paths, applying for jobs, um, attending interviews, 
and then we've also got some social units as well within the course which are looking at sort of healthy lifestyle keeping safe so so it's a mix of employability units as well as some sort of social units as well to enable young people to develop their skills on the level one employability there are a couple of practical lessons so the the week has um, one practical lesson on usually on a Monday afternoon where this year the group have gone down to Halo and taken part in some fitness activities and on a Thursday they do a carpentry um, lesson in our workshops at Folly Lane and they work on either single projects or their work as part of a team so they would need some um, safety boots to um, be able to go into the workshops for that lesson the level two is probably more focused on assignments and improving quality of written work to enable learners again to progress to other courses within the college okay brilliant thank you very much uh, Kevin, if I can bring you in just to talk about uh, the courses that you sort of primarily look yeah. after. So, I think the question was regarding the um, Skills for Working Life programme. Yeah. Um, the Skill, Skills for Working Life programme is a mixed vocational programme run at two levels at entry two and also entry three. And as part of both the programmes, um, one day a week the students are involved in uh, running a community car project um, where they learn. Um, Catering skills, working in the kitchen and also front of house regarding customer service. Also recovering a motor vehicle, woodwork, um, a small bit of engineering and also some craft work, painting and decorating alongside maths and English is embedded across the whole, the whole, whole programme. Um, the, the group size is roughly between eight, eight to ten students with a um, tutor and also learning support staff as well. OK, brilliant. Um, in, um, while you're here, um, in terms of the hospitality and catering, um, where does all of that sort of take place? OK, um, so the hospitality taking programme is, is based over three days. I have a day and a half practical, which is based at Hinton Community um, Centre. Um, where students are involved in are running a community calf, which is open to the public. Um, one afternoon, um, they learn all the uh, background skills and preparing skills, which is uh, embedded in, into the restaurant. Um, they have a, a morning for theory and also maths and English as, as well as part of the programme. OK, brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, Nigel, if I can bring you back in uh, just about the uh, level one health and social care course. Of course, yeah, this this is a course which is um, a knowledge course. Um, so the learners on this course are required to demonstrate that they know a lot about the big ideas in health and social care. So they will need to know about how to avoid discrimination uh, when working with people. They will need to know about how safeguarding practices work. They will need to know about health and safety and they will need to know about how people in uh, the area keep themselves uh, physically healthy and what they do um, to refer people to the, the right social care setting. This is called a range of provision. So all in all, it's an extremely good foundation for a youngster who wants to get involved in the field of health and social care and childcare. It's the only course in the college that looks at both health and social care and childcare. Perfect. OK. Um, in terms of, uh, we've got had a question come through. Um, someone's asked what sort of supports in place uh, given that they've got dyslexia. Are you able to answer that or is that best left to the uh, learning support session later on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it, that's it, then. That helps. Yeah, good, good. 
Um, sorry, David, who, who is that question aimed at? Sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, aimed at Nigel. Sorry, if that's, that's okay. Oh, oh, thank you, pardon. Okay, so when youngsters uh, come to the college, there are informal and formal assessment processes. Very often at interview, the youngsters and their family will tell us about their backgrounds and some of the things that don't go terribly well for them. As a rule of thumb, most youngsters are very good at either maths or very good at English, uh, not very good at both of them. Um, when youngsters have certain issues, we explore those. We, we do something called diagnostic testing. We also look to see if, it, we, if we can teach them in a way that means that some of these troubles go away. Um, issues like extra time, uh, having somebody prompt them with a, a, a review of the question, having somebody read the question to them, these are common activities within our area. OK, great, thank you. Um, we've had a, another question come through. Um, someone wants to know the start and finish time of the Skills for Working Life course. Uh, Kevin, you might be able to give some advice on that. I mean, I suppose it depends on what level and and what exactly, what, what day it is, that sort of thing. Yes, but, um, obviously, depending on, on, on the timetables, the, the, the programme itself, a full time course is, a, is a, over three days a week. And the normal start times are nine o'clock and average average finish time is around about three o'clock, three thirty. Is that okay, David? Okay. And um, so, and the the sort of other days of the week, what could? It, it presumably that's when someone could either do extra studies or possibly look at employment, that sort of thing. Yes, of course. Obviously, um, obviously, of course, only, only full time program only being three days. We'd really encourage them to look at some volunteer work or some part time work, um, on on the days when they're not in college. Possibility and um, also to, to do extra maths in English, if, if, they, if they wish to on on the on the days off as well. Okay, brilliant. Um, did any of the tutors have anything else they wanted to add? Um, just see if there's any more questions coming through in the meantime, but. I don't know, if, Nigel, if you've got anything else you want to add, just to round off. Um, just a small point, David. If you have um, information about our courses given to you by people who may not have done our courses, it might be a good idea to test out uh, what you know with one of the teachers. Um, we're very proud of the youngsters that do our courses, but in order to get the right information that the best person to ask is one of our teachers okay thank you very much so i don't think there's any other questions coming through and um, so we'll wrap that up there uh, thank you very much for your time thank you everyone for for watching if you've got any further questions at a later date uh, feel free to send us an email uh, through the inquiry form on the website or contact us on the facebook page whichever is the easiest approach um, and we can direct your questions on um, to all of the Foundation Studies team. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Thanks, David. <laughs>